Hello and welcome to June's edition of the Cattail Creek Country Club Insider. I'm Lauren Thompson. Let's get to the club's upcoming events and news for this month. So dive into summer with our summer kickoff pool party on June 8th. This night of family fun at the pool includes water slides, carnival rides, a DJ, a delicious buffet from Chef Tom, and a whole lot more. Then join us on June 19th to celebrate Dad with a very special Father's Day cookout on the back patio with some fantastic live entertainment. And it all leads up to our biggest event of the year. We know you've marked your calendars for our club anniversary celebration on June 25th. A professional fireworks show over the 18th hole lights up the night sky, but before then, entertainment and activities for the whole family await. Kids are sure to enjoy the inflatables and carnival rides, face painting, a balloon artist, pony rides, and a DJ. Meanwhile, we can't wait to see the adults grooving to the live band and enjoying a deluxe buffet, complimentary draft beer, a photo booth, and more. This is an event I can tell you you won't want to miss. We look forward to seeing all of you out there. Of course, summer is really heating up, quite literally, and so is your grill. So for all the hot tips on summer grilling, let's hear from our very own Chef Tom. Good morning, Cattail members. We're heading into the spring and summer. So on my brand new grill here in the club, I'm gonna show you guys some helpful tips for grilling this summer at home. This is a kitchen towel, our oil, which is 75% uh, vegetable oil and 25% olive oil to get it nice and seasoned. You wanna get equal, you know, equal cuts and thickness if you can, but if not, understand what you're, cook, do, you're dealing with when you're cooking, cooking at home, working on the grill. Obviously at home, if you have, whether you have a propane grill or a chocolate grill, obviously you're gonna have a lid on it. So this is what we do here. We put the lid on this with a piece of salmon, two to three minutes on the side that you're gonna be serving to a customer. And then you flip it over and you're gonna cook it an additional three to four minutes to finish the salmon. I'm gonna do some, some black bean Southwest rice to go with the fish. And I have a little sauce made ahead of time. Um, you can see how that fish is nice and grilled on top. If you still kind of see how it's, how it's still rare in the middle. I'm gonna make my buoy base stock ahead of time. I take that reduction, add a touch of cream, reduce together. Of course, we'll put a little butter for flavor at the end and then we're ready to go and season it. This is unsalted butter. And if you do add butter to the sauce, make sure you're stirring it constantly because you, you don't want that cream to separate on you. This is plain basmati rice. It's already been steamed. We got a little salt and pepper here and corn salsa. Some add a rice. I have my shellfish reduction. Pickled red onion, top of the fish. A little bit of rainbow microgreens. Just a reminder, we're going to be doing our Founders Reserve special menu on Friday and Saturday nights. So please enjoy. Take care. Wow, that all sounds incredible, Chef Tom. I'm sure our members will test that grilling tip this summer, but they also won't turn down an opportunity to enjoy the many tasty offerings we have at the club either. No one says no to that. Now, sticking with some insider tips, if you've ever wanted some insight on how to birdie hole number one, and who doesn't if they played the course, we have the club's very own assistant golf professional, Evan Mankey, to show you how it's done. Hello, Cattail members. Evan Mankey, assistant golf professional here talking to you. We're here on hole number one, and I thought it would be a good idea to go over just um, some hole management, some course management, and uh, how to get your round started on a good note. So if we take a look at, at hole one here, it's 402 yards. There's OB to the left, and there's going to be a hazard to the right. The, the, the fairway is going to slope from slightly left to right, so the best line is to aim down the fairway and aim kind of at the cart path at the end of the fairway, and the fairway will take it to the middle. Um, you're going to want to hit something around 220 yards. For me, that's a four iron, um, and let's see what we can do here. just a little bit but um, I think it's gonna kick off the hill and end up in the fairway most likely here we are in the middle of the fairway after a nice drive I have 154 yards to the pin the pin is on the right side of the green I definitely don't want to go right here there's a bunker there's not much room to the right and I don't want to go long of the pin because it slopes away severely 
So I'm going to be aiming about 10 yards left of the pin and maybe trying to play a little bit of a fade in, into it. If it doesn't fade, it's gonna be fine. Another big thing is I'm going to be aggressive towards the line I picked. Um, I'm gonna be aggressive to that line just like it's the pin. Swing, dude. All right, a little long there, but it should be all right. Here, let me get this. Pretty cattail members here up on the green after a nice shot. We got about 10 feet for birdie here. Um, I am going to line this up. And it's a great thing that all these ball companies put a nice line on the ball and that's what it's created for so you can line up your putts on the green. Uh, I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna squat down. So I've picked a spot about a ball outside left of the hole. It's gonna curve back. Now, a lot of people won't utilize the, the, uh, the line or they won't be committed to their line that they picked if they don't use a line on the ball. Um, my philosophy is you want to be very committed to the putt that you pick that you want to hit. So I really focus on making the putt I want, and if it happens to go in the hole, it goes in the hole, and that's great. Here we go. This is a routine birdie out here at Cattail. That is very helpful information, Evan. We can't wait to see you all using Evan's tip on the golf course soon. Until then, I'm Lauren Thompson, and thank you for watching this Cattail Creek Country Club Insider. We'll see you next time.